I didn't record horizontally, sorry. Hello! Welcome back. Um, wow, we're starting yet another series on this wonderful channel. So now it's time to cue the song! And then this is where I cue the song in a like, fashion. You're goddamn right I thought of something. Welcome to the first episode of Fashion Adventures, Fashion Adventures with oh! Oz. Fashion. Okay, so here's the situation. I have three blazers that I do not wear enough. I wear one a lot, and the other two not as much. So I figured that uh, there's snow outside right now. I don't want to have to think about the fact that I have to go to school tomorrow. We're just going to have a good time, play with some blazers, and style them. And by blazers, I don't mean people who smoke marijuana, okay? So the one that I wear all the time is from Express. I got this on the clearance rack, so it was like $8. I think it's very Peaky Blinders. So it's dark gray. And this doesn't really melt. It's my stripe for the lining. It's very comfortable and warm, which is why I like it. And it's good for a lot of the dark academia looks that I do. Which is basically the same look over and over again, but a different undershirt. Because it's a lot of effort. Um, but that's what we're trying to do today. We're trying to put effort into this so I can, you know, wear more than the same three outfits. The one I wear the second most, yeah, I also got off the Express clearance rack for a similar price. It's longer, it's, it has a collar, obviously. Um, it's this awesome uh, gray and black striped blazer, and it's actually single layer. It's not lined, but the seams are bound with tapes. It's really nice. And it's really smooth, and I like how you can roll up the cuffs and it has pockets, which is awesome. I really love this blazer, and I really need to wear it more. And then the third one. I got this blazer off of ThreadUp. It's by the brand The Limited. And I got it because I'm obsessed with Rachel Maxey's videos. Oh my god, hi Rachel Maxey if you're watching, but you're probably not. And a really long time ago, I'm saying like two to three years ago, she did like a thrifting video where she had this blazer, jacket, suit jacket thing that had puff sleeves. And I was obsessed with this idea. And I really like this blazer. I like the idea of it, but it's still a little bit too big for me. I had to put the puff sleeves in myself, as in I took off the lining, redid the sleeves. It was a huge ordeal. Um, but I really like the blazer. I just really don't want to have to open it up and take big darts out of the back, but I think that's what's going to happen. But I have an idea, which we're going to try out, which might be incredibly terrible. Oh my god, the look you make when you start to regret all your life choices. So this is the blazer. It has a collar. It's really nice. Uh, so that if you put a belt, a, if you put a belt around the waist, it kind of like flares out in like a 18th century like cutaway jacket kind of style. And these are the slips that I did. And I just rolled these up because otherwise it's kind of like funky. So I'm thinking I have to take a dart out of the underside of the sleeve, which shouldn't be too hard to do because I kept the bottom of the sleeve where the seam is pretty flat and all the gathering is really on the top to make that like really, really small like a mutton kind of look, which is kind of a vibe. Um, so yeah. Uh, so those are the three blazers. I have some plans. I haven't tried out like any of them. I was trying some stuff last night, but like I figured that like I should, it'd be really funny 
if I wrote down some ideas which might work and watched them colossally fail on video. And I figured you'd have a good time, I'd have a good time, why not just do it? So yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, let's uh, get into it. Transition. And for reference, in case any of you were actually wondering, my outfit for the day. I thought this song was cold, but I think it's very cool in Renaissance. It was my mom's and she doesn't like it, so she gave it to me, as happens with most of her clothes. Um, but this is the outfit. Very hobby, healthy. I'm in a really, really strange mood right now, but all I can think of them is elves. Probably because I've been writing about them so much. So it's just this cozy top. It actually has really gold lines that are done, and they're kind of itchy, but we used them after a while. Not incredibly itchy, and they kind of like fork at the bottom, which I think is cool. This corset, which actually isn't very structural at all, it's like a LARPing corset that I got off of Amazon. And I want, I want to make an overdress corset, like by myself. And that's my goal for the next like three years. And then I want to make a corset or buy it off of a threaded. Their Regency corset stays, their Regency stays are just, I just want a pair of Regency stays, I think that's, but just a pair of stays, I really like the look of 1830s corsets, like, stays, but they're technically still stays, corsets, I don't like the 1830s fashions for women, Jujut sleeves make me really uncomfortable, but somehow leather mutton sleeves make me really happy. I don't quite understand it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna wear suspenders just because with the corset, this skirt is a silhouette of the jeans. Just a little bit. Um, and then this skirt, which I got at Sabres, near me, has a little... Yeah, at the bottom. Comfortable, I wear this thing all the time. Legitimately. Okay, let's get into the video. Transition. I think we should start with the easy blazer, as in the one I wear the most. Because one, it's going to give me a lot of instant serotonin, and two, um, I already have an idea of things that work because I've worn them with that one before. So I don't think it will be too difficult. Um, we'll first outfit will consist of my yellow plaid pants, which I love to heck. In fact, they're mustard, they're ridiculously incredible. Um, a collared shirt, uh, a sweater which has like Sherlockian symbols on it, which I think is the bomb.com and it's really thin and you can wear it with anything. Um, and a pair of fingerless gloves, and if I was putting shoes in this, I would be wearing combat boots with this. However, you guys you can't really see my feet. I'm not putting shoes in it. Sorry. So, I'll be right back. Sorry for the loud noises, but my mother is vacuuming. But we are pretty much done here. Okay, so this is what's going on underneath the blazer you can see it's the shirt I have which is white collared white really flouncy thing and then black like can't really explain it it's kind of weird and I kind of hate it because it's all polyester but, like I have to keep it because it's so thin but so warm so I feel like a replacement for it this is what I'm using and I wear my other white button-down shirt so much that it's basically constantly on the wash so and then uh, I have this sweater with Sherlockian symbols as I said. So this is like John Watson's like bowler hat from like the Victorian actual books, right? And like black, the, the crown reminds me of Moriarty. And then there's the deerstalker on the bottom, but that's tucked into my pants and these pants. I can't even, I mean, I'll, I'll jump for you. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I'm getting. Uh, these pants are severe. They are incredible. I love them so much. They are so warm and comfortable. They're just idyllic. Uh, and they are flares. So they flare out at the bottom. However, they're not 
They're more like clubs than flares because they're obviously not games, but they're ridiculously incredible nonetheless. And then these gloves were actually socks that I fixed to become gloves because there was a hole in them. And I actually have two pairs of gloves which might work for this. And I also have a potential bow tie that I think it's time to, you know, What's, what's the verb that I would use? Not like knighting, but with a blazer. Blaziting? Oh yeah, I don't like that, but I'm not. I'm blaziting myself. Let's do it. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose my sleeves and I put some. So comfortable, it's perfect for winter and just like big vibes. It looks good with it open, it looks good with it closed. I really can't tell if I like it more open or closed, so I constantly just open and close it throughout the day. Um, I'm gonna try our potential bow tie. So, this is a pre time bow tie. I had a math teacher once, and his name is Mr. Ray. And he was obsessed with bow ties. We were actually the first, like, actual class that he, like, teached as a legitimate teacher and not a substitute. Um, and he taught algebra. Um, I can't say whether or not his teaching skills are indicative of his fashion skills, but his fashion skills are pretty sick. Let me just say that. But he told us a lot, he gave us a lesson once about pre tied bow ties. It was on an off day. None of us are really feeling math, but we were eighth graders. So, like, for any of us. But he, he, he went on this really long rant about how you should never wear pre tied bow ties, but I found this on the floor of the choir room. So, obviously, I took it and then put it on my dog. Yes. I did that. He wore it on my birthday. So, success. Tell me, is this a vibe? I feel kind of like the 11th Doctor, but I don't think that's an issue. I also really feel like the 11th Doctor because like the mix and the patterns. I mean, he wore tweeds, but like, same difference. I like to call this look, um, dark academia student who also may or may not have a thing for streetwear, who also may or may not be poor, and also may or may not live in the universe that I created for my book. So basically just me. Hi. Hi, I'm Oz. Uh, yeah. Big vibe. I don't think the other gloves are going to fit with the bow tie in this one. I'm going to take it off. I can't tell if I like it. Tell me if you like it, Tambalus. That was my wand. Sorry. It's kind of also a wizardy look. Like a modern business wizard. The other gloves I have, I used uh, this old leather jacket that I had and I had worn, worn it for ages. But the vinyl was really thin, so it was wearing off. So I figured, hey, the sleeves are good. What if I turn the sleeves into kind of like gloves? So I did. Just like that, and you can zip them. They're not really good for doing anything <laughs> um, because they are just like a statement piece. But I like them. These have a pair of black fingerless gloves. But they disappeared after I let my mother try them on, and apparently she gave them to my little sister. And if you give anything to my little sister that you actually care about, um, it won't disappear. Music also kind of a vibe. I also kind of like these. 
What version of yourself would is your favorite? Tell me down below. Um, uh, but this is surefire way to smile this blister. And I think it really actually completes it. And I kind of like that the sleeves are longer than the rest of my shirt. So, yeah. Let's go on to the second outfit. I'll read the description of the clothing items that I have picked for this one. Um, long black skirt, which I pleaded to look like an Edwardian, like, bustled skirt, so. To, yeah. Uh, collared shirt, and potentially a cardigan on the knees. Let's try that. I need you all to do me a favor right now. Pretend that there are little blue lines all over the shirt. Can you see the little blue lines? Now you can see the blue lines. Kind of hard to see on camera, but they're there. And now, oh, this is on. I'm gonna put that belt on from before. I'm just, gonna put, I'm just gonna put this belt back on, just to make sure that the waist stays where it is. Because I like my waist stay very boring, as you can see. Um, don't worry about the sleeves yet. I'm gonna wait to put the actual blazer on. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, yeah. Let's put this on, then I'm gonna roll my sleeves up to match the blazer. Just so I don't roll them up too much and then have like a weird lump, 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 bump. Yeah. This joke is not way too far. Oh, I'm not really feeling like this one. Okay, that's better actually. It's better but This one's better but here. Let me take my hair to keep her. That tends to be the breaking point for one of these. Because I kind of like that. What if I unbutton the top button? That's kind of a vibe. Yeah, I kind of like it. Okay, time for the next outfit. So this one I thought would be our experience, big experience. Um, so I want to say, can you wear all of these with jeans and still make them look decent? You still wear a lot of them. So I'm thinking jeans and an incredible shirt that I will show you in a second. So let's try that. Okay, the basic outfit is complete. It's this very, like, almost pirate top. Does it have the laces? I think if I had laces, it'd be more piratey, but it's still a vibe. And they're highly speed dark wash jeans. I think dark wash jeans would look all, would look good with all of them, except maybe the last one, but we'll, we'll see when we get there. So. That also looks terrible. Okay. Okay. So, now, for the blazer. I think that's definitely a vibe. I actually wear this. So, I think this blazer has been a success. Yes. Uh, I think it's time. We head on to the next one. This next blazer is going to be the second one that I wear the most. Uh, because we're going to save the hardest one for last. Because that one has the most variations that I can think of. Because it's just really hard to style. Okay, so the next we're going to try the striped blazer. This shirt. Um, a pair of bright red pants that I made. And we're not going to try the cardigan underneath anymore because it just doesn't work. But yeah, let's get to it. The basic outfit is pretty simplistic. I'm going to send just a shirt and them with these bright red pants that I made myself. They close in the back. Fun. And same belt that I've been wearing the entire time because I wear it with everything. So now it's time for the blazer. I don't think this will go too horribly. 
So yeah. Oh yeah, she's already told it. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I need any of the words for this. So yeah, I, I love it. It's really comfortable. Um, definitely wear it again. The next app was that I was thinking. I that I was thinking. It was a black midi skirt that I have, and by midi I mean like actually midi. Uh, a, and a black peasant top. And the belt. Maybe put the belt over the blazer. Oh uh, yeah. It's a give and go. Okay. I've actually never worn these two pieces of clothing together before, and I have to really keep them off, even if I'm not wearing the pants. Because this is really cute. It's cute that word, but yeah. Okay, now we're gonna try it first without the belt around the blazer, just to see how it works. So let's see. It's kind of a look. Kind of like that. Okay, and clothes. Clothes still kind of looks good. Let's try the belt on the blazer. Um, that's actually a look. I actually really like that. But it's not bad. I really like that, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Let's move on to the last step for this blazer. Uh, jeans. The same jeans on the phone as the ones I was just wearing. Two sweaters I want to try. The Sherlock sweater from before, which I said goes with basically all of my wardrobe. And this other sweater, which is a bit bulkier. Let's try it out. Okay, we're gonna start off with this one. Uh, yeah, very simple. Very like, I have to go to the grocery store. So I'm just gonna wear whatever. But, with this blazer, can we make it, I have to go to the grocery store. But then, but I was just coming home from the office. I think we've definitely succeeded in the, I'm going to the grocery store after working at the office. Also, it's casual driving. So yeah, I think it's kind of good. Okay, this is actually not the sweater I was planning on using for this one. I guess it's in the wash, but don't worry. Uh, so, Still a big bulky sweater. This on its own is very like, it's a snow day, I have to work from home because I can't leave my house because I'm snow day. Um, let's make it conference call ready, everyone. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Well, I mean, turtlenecks and blazers were big in the 70s. So there shouldn't be some. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a vibe. Big vibe. Really ready for my 3 p.m. conference call. Let me just talk about my stonks. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for the leg crate, the laser. <laughs> I'm really dreading this, legitimately. So the first thing that I think I need to do is try out making it double-breasted. I'm gonna use a brooch and just like pin it to itself to kind of take a lot of that bulk away because it's big in the back. Um, we're gonna start off with the button-down shirt from before, the white and blue one that I said to ignore, the blue stripes on, and some blue plaid pants. If you can't tell, I like plaid pants. So let's go try that out. Okay, basic outfit is complete. Nothing special. But now for the moment of truth. Let me know what the sleeves on this jacket are shirt. And the sleeves on this shirt are not. This will look ridiculous. So 
It's actually a really long t-shirt, but it had a really big hole in it, so I'm gonna just cut it and have it. Yeah, so let's try this out. Try it open first. That's actually kind of not bad. Really lots of successes. We're doing very good. Transition. 
want to thank all of you for watching this video if you liked it you should totally give it a like you should totally subscribe to my channel and you should totally hit that bell icon uh down below and you know hit me up and stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot more of these i'm thinking of doing a series of like things that i wear the least often or like new things that i get and styling them a bunch of different ways i'm thinking like i have this one dress that my mom gave me that i just take in the shoulders on and i'm thinking maybe we'll do like a styling that kind of thing we've already kind of done it so i think that might be fun if you're interested in that hit me up down below tell me what next what video i should post next i have another series that i want to start it's called thoughts from a safety blanket which is basically just more shower thoughts but like more existential ones so if you're into that please tell me and i will totally make it uh, other than that if you want to see another video in one of the other series that i have thoughts from a sewing machine i already have the next episode planned i just have to film it and edit it obviously um next chapter uh second chapter of my book i can read the second episode of real lab which is going up the day after I'm filming this, um, obviously another episode in this series, another episode in the lore series, I'm gonna hold off in the lore series for a little bit, just until I can kind of like catch up in my edits, um, but yeah, you wanna read the series, you can go over to Wattpad, uh, and find me at Majestic Ruby Red 03 uh, it's called Wicked Ways, Genesis, it should be the first one under my name it's like a hand and an apple and it's like the garden of eden and stuff like that yeah um yeah also would any of you be interested in a video of me just kind of vibing and painting actually, uh, painting that's actually right behind my phone right now that i just have to finish so if any of you are interested in like maybe watching me just kind of like paint for a while in a video format then hit me up and maybe that'll be a future video. Okay, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, and I hope you are all doing well and your families are doing well. And that's a goodbye from Red Valier. I'll see all you in the next video. Wow, I have a small neck. I think that that's a good idea. That's a good knowledge for a serial killer to have. Uh, yeah, Oz. He has a small neck. Perfect for strangling. Putting through a guillotine. It's really not a good thing to have a small neck. I mean. Let's see now. Okay. You know, control and experimental. If you're uh, into the scientific method. That, that's good for my dating profile, even though I don't need one. <laughs> like, hey, uh, I'm Oz. I like the scientific method. Um, don't be controlled. Mm, experiment with me. That sounds terrible. I'm never gonna say that again. I don't have a brain, but I got into a college and somehow I did that without a brain. Like, uh, I just got home from work. I'm a little bit too lazy to change out of my clothes, but this is what I am right now. Kind of a vibe, kind of a vibe.